Hey everyone, it's your friend Think Noodles, and welcome to my full walkthrough for Pop Tropica's Reality TV Island. This walkthrough is going to contain a full audio commentary telling you exactly what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. Now, with Reality TV Island, this is a different island. It's similar to Pop Tropolis Games, or as I should say, Pop Tropolis Games is similar to Reality TV Island in that there's a little bit at the beginning and then it's mostly mini games that you just have to win in order to get through the island. So the way I've organized this is I'm gonna walk you through how to get into the island and then I'm gonna show you the best way to complete most of the mini games. There are a couple that I couldn't complete myself. I just, it was just too hard, a uh, few that are luck and finally one that I only saw once even though I played about 60 times. If you're looking for help on a specific mini game, check the description and click one of the time codes and it'll take you right to that point in the video. Now, if this video helps you in any way in Reality TV Island, I'd really appreciate it if you like this video and subscribe to my channel. The great thing about Reality TV Island is it's modeled after one of my favorite shows. Actually, it's probably my favorite show on TV, which is Survivor. And I've always wanted to be on it, although I don't think I'm tough enough to handle it. But this island sort of uh, made me feel like I was on Survivor. So here we go. Let's uh, get into the island right now. And we will drop in. And all you need to do here is run to your right. And we'll go into TV world here. And there are a few things you can look at, but really we want to go upstairs. And if you check out the TV, you can see the balloon boy. Uh, that's sort of an Easter egg in Pop Tropica. It's on most of the TVs in Pop Tropica. So we'll just jump up to the top level here and talk to the guy with the red hat. So he says, change the channel. Just click one of the channels. It doesn't matter which one. And you will see an ad for Reality TV Island Descent applications to 123 Star Avenue, Hollywood. So we need to get into this, right? So first things first, let's get out of the shop and we're gonna run to the left and we're gonna go into Mike's Market. And then what you're gonna wanna do is uh, jump over the shopping carts here on the right. Jump over, there we go. And you're gonna wanna go talk to this guy here and he's going to drop his magazine and all you need to do is pick it up all right now uh click your inventory and examine the magazine then click next and click on the official contestant application and there we go so we're part of the way there to getting into reality tv island Now let's exit the store and run to our left. And we're gonna go to the motel here and just enter the motel office. Now we're in here and uh, you see the disgusting bugs on the wall and you can click them. I, it's really hard, but you can click them and smash them and ugh, yeah, I'm not doing very well here. So let's go over here and you don't need to talk to this guy because um, you don't really want a room. So we'll just say, no, I'm passing through. And uh, just jump over him, or go past him. And we'll click on the pens here. Then just open up the tab. Then just open up your inventory. And we'll look in the tabloid again. And go to the next page and you'll see Papa Pete's Pizza 555 P-E-T-E. -E. And we need to dial that number. So let's click on the phone. And five 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 seven three eight three, and then click call. Now they'll ask you where to deliver it, and what you want to select is the second option, motel room four B. Now let me try and get that bug before we go, because I just want to show you guys I can smash it. Uh, here we go. Jump up and come on. There we go. Come on. 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 Got it. All right. It's even grosser when it's exploded on the wall. Okay, let's head out of the office here. And there's the pizza person. Nice quick delivery, right? Okay, just click on them and 
we will deliver the pizza for her. Everyone's obsessed with this show on this island, as you can already tell. So run to your left here and go up the stairs and there's apartment 4B on the upper left. Now, the person in this room is a former contestant on reality TV Island and he's semi-famous, although he didn't do very well on it. Now we'll talk to Bucky and just click, I could really use that grand prize, the third option. And he'll give us a stamp and we can mail in our application. So let's pick up our inventory here. Come on, open it up and click on the application and click examine and it's got your name already so you just type whatever you want why you think you should be on reality tv island i'm going to put because i am think noodles and i love pop tropica there we go and you can flip to the other side to see where it's going to be mailed right there it is reality tv island one two three star avenue hollywood okay now uh, let's go ahead and put the stamp on it because you can't mail anything without a stamp. And let's head out of the hotel room and we're gonna go mail this. I don't know if you saw the mailbox earlier in the walkthrough, but I'll show you where it is. So let's uh, run to our right. Keep going and there's the mailbox. So just click the mailbox and drop in the application. All right, now the next day, guess what happens, everyone? Think Noodles is getting on to Reality TV Island. So I get into the show, and uh, you will too. And there they are, they're gonna take you away. Jump up onto the roof of the hotel. And get into the helicopter and start the show. So you're going to be competing against seven other contestants in seven days of challenges. And the winner of each challenge will be safe from being voted off immunity. At the end of the day, who will be the last one standing? It's time to find out. And like I said, it's like Survivor. And you can tell with the props, it kind of looks like Survivor too. So we will begin the show. And I want to show you guys right here all of the different games. Now, there are 14 different games. And like I said, some are skill-based, some are luck-based, some are impossible. And one of them I've only ever seen once, which is the shuffleboard. So these are all the challenges that you could possibly have. Of course, you're only going to have seven per each one. So we're going to start going here. And here's day one. So there are seven people that I'm competing against, you know, Black Widow, a bunch of various people. Uh, let's, um, let's go ahead and start today's challenge. Okay, now coconut catch. Um, well, <laughs> all you really need to do is try and catch the coconuts and watch out for the bombs. And I'm gonna fast forward this because I fail at this one. Well, I don't fail, but I don't win and I don't get immunity, and this is my first game, and I, I will show you a better strategy to this, um, but uh, I just, I don't win, and I wanna show you what happens at the end of this. So I didn't win, I click begin voting, and guess what happens? <sighs> it turns out that none of these seven people like Think Noodles, so I get voted off. Now you might think, God, that, that, that's terrible. You got voted off on the first go. This is gonna be a really hard island. And that's what I thought too when I first played it. But I think it's intentional because although I was voted off immediately after losing, I got one of the photos. And let me show you here. Bring up my photos and click here. And as you can see, one of the photos is there's always next time loser. So you actually are supposed to lose at least once. And if you don't, you won't get the photo. So make sure that you do lose and get voted off. And then you can start the show over and try your best to get through it as quickly as possible. So uh, let's begin the show again. 
And we'll start with this challenge here, which is the totem hop. Now, the best thing to do is put your mouse over an alternate one. So I got onto this one, now I'm gonna move to that one. Nope, not that one. And I'm gonna put my mouse on an alternate one so as soon as mine starts shaking, I know where to go. And I'm just staying still, oh, there we go. And I better move to another one just in case mine starts shaking. Oh, there it is, and I move again. There we go, and I win. So there we go. Like I said, pre-put your mouse on the one that would be stable. That way, as soon as you start shaking, you can click. So now with another one, and this one is the mountain race. And all you really have to do, at least for me, is I ran up to the front and I just randomly jumped. Uh, I, there's really no strategy, I was just jumping. Um, sometimes you will hit the rock that falls from above, but if you're just jump, take two steps, jump, take two steps, jump, you have a pretty good chance of beating everyone. And uh, we both got hit there, but I'm still in the lead. And if I keep jumping and jumping and jumping, oops, I missed that one. Uh, but I was far enough ahead that I could just stay ahead. And uh, it gets really close right here. But oh, look, Think Noodles jumped at just the right time. And uh, there we go. Uh, way, way, way in the lead. And I finish and I won that one. So the next one is the turtle shell toss. And this one is a really good strategy. What you need to do is stretch the arrow and put your cursor right in the middle of the palm tree, right there, and then just click and don't move it. If it's right in the middle of the palm tree, you'll get 20 points every single time and you will win this one. Just leave it there and you'll see I haven't moved it at all. And you know, they'll get 20 or 10 or whatever, but they'll move theirs and they'll miss. So here I come again, exact same spot, 20 again. And like I said, right in the middle of the palm tree, right where you see my cursor. And uh, I'm already pretty far ahead. All right, final round and I got it again. So 60 points, which is the maximum. And that was terrible. <laughs> uh. Uh, so, uh, you know, no one was even close. Um, he got 30. That was the closest one. And I win again. So that's a really great strategy for the turtle toss. Okay, now on to the next one, which is the geyser guess. And this one is complete luck. Like it, is, like it says, it's a guess. And I just choose one and I don't even move. I just keep clicking the same one. It turned out to be lucky for me this time, but it can go either way. And it, there, there's no skill involved. It's just luck of the draw, whether it lets you or it doesn't. So just, uh, just keep clicking whichever one you wanna choose. It doesn't really matter. And you could win or you could lose. There's no strategy for guys or guests. It's all luck. Now for the next one and it is the shot put. And there's a strategy to this one. What you wanna do is uh, get the angle right in the middle of this. So right about, and you can wait, and there we go. So I could have gone a little bit higher and you wanna get the power to the maximum, and there we go, I won. Uh, so you wanna get the uh, angle right in the middle and you wanna get the power all the way to the top and you can take your time. It doesn't matter if you're the last one to do it. Now the next one, is the knockout. And this is a very common survivor game and you use a slingshot to take out your opponent's plates. So uh, you really have to try and get the middle of the plate and go after everyone. If someone already has part of theirs taken away, don't go after it, go after someone who doesn't have any taken away because you want to stay ahead of everyone. So that's why I chose him because he had the same as me. And if you can see at the top, uh, I now have 77% and there's someone with 100% still and you wanna have the most percent in the end. So I'm gonna go after the, uh, the red hat guy and try and hit his plate and I miss. But thankfully everyone else has a chance to hit him too and he's the only one ahead of me and this shot takes him down to 72%. So I'm the only one left with 77% and 
and they keep knocking him down and someone tries for me but misses and I win with 77% remaining. Now for the next one. And this is the hang glider. And my strategy for this is to just stay as far back as possible and let everyone make mistakes. Um, I also find that going toward the top works out better than the bottom because of the lava there. See, that just took out two people. And uh, you just want to stay back and let everyone make mistakes and get hit by the birds. As you can see, we're down to three already. And uh, I'm just staying in the back. So I have a plenty of time to react to everything. And there we go, one more. And uh, there's Black Widow and Think Noodles is staying back and she's too far forward so she has less time to react there she goes she backed up a little bit and uh here comes the lava oh so close oh right into the bird and think noodles for the win all right for coconut catch my strategy was to stay close to the monkey and Go for the threes. The ones, of course, you you really want, but the threes are the most important. If someone else is getting ones, don't worry about it. Um, just stay close to the monkey. Go after the ones he throws toward you, and uh, and you'll do quite well. Um, don't worry about them getting a few, um, because if you can manage to stay close, uh, and they'll stay out of your way, you don't have any competition with the other people for the close ones. Um, avoid the bombs as best you can, but I made a few mistakes and hit the bomb a couple times. And there's a three right there. So see, he throws a short one, they have no chance at getting it, it's all yours. So if you stay close, uh, he's gonna throw them your way and, uh, and you can get ahead of them. I got 17, the goal is to get 20 coconuts, 18, 19, one more. There we go, oh, so close. Just need the one more, and they're getting closer, but I still have a lead. There it is, right there. So I got the 20th coconut uh, before they got theirs, and I won. All right, now the next one is the boulder push. And you're gonna wanna use your mouse and kind of hold it with your left hand and just click as fast as you can with your right hand. That's what I did here. And you just wanna click, 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 click as fast as you can. Um, and I used, uh, like I said, I held my mouse with my left hand and just clicked as fast as I could with my right hand and I was able to get ahead. So here we go with the pole climb. And this is similar to the totem jump. And what you need to do is just, oops, <laughs> we all got messed up there. Uh, you just need to jump back and forth and always have the next pole ready to go. So you see I jumped and I move over just in case. And I'm ready to go just in case one comes down. I'm already ready to jump to the left one. There we go. And whoop, right one. And I move to the left one and always have that loaded up so that all you have to do is click and you don't have to move it. You're already ready to jump. And that will get you ahead. And there's the end. Now on the line, I was not able to win. The next few, I'm not able to win at all. But what you do is click once to let your hook down and click again to pull it up and catch a fish. And you have to catch the fish in the mouth. So, yep, there we go. And I'm never quick enough to quite get it. I sometimes let my hook go way too low. Um, oh, got him. Uh, there's three. And uh, I'm ahead of everyone here, but then, uh, you know, I went too early, I got greedy, I thought I could catch the side of the fish. And four, I'm still ahead, but I just don't get lucky and I just miss it there. I could have had it, could have won, but that's what you need to do. Uh, the next one is <laughs> balanced diet. And I would say this one's probably impossible. At least for me, it is completely impossible. What you have to do is try and balance it. And when you're against seven people like this, six other people, it's really hard. Uh, so you wanna offset that, that little disc in the middle 
And so when it's off to one side, you wanna move your cursor to the opposite side. And you can tell I'm already swaying like crazy. And ooh, I almost lost it there. So I at least beat one person, but no. <laughs> That's it, Think Noodles is done. Um, it's a really, really hard one. If you don't make it, if you're bad at it, don't worry, you have other events that you can win. Just hope that it isn't the last one because whatever the last one is, you have to win it or else you'll get voted off by the other person. So uh, here's another one that I found uh, that I didn't win, but I only was able to play once. Uh, I played about 60 of these games and Shuffleboard only came up one time. It's exactly the same as Shuffleboard in real life where you just want to get your, uh, your token to the closest to the center of the red ring. And you have three tries to do it and everyone can knock you out of the way. But in the end, at the very, very, very last uh, go, if you are the closest to the center, then you win. And you can drag it and bounce it off the back, which was really bad. Good job, Think Noodles. Uh, but um, there we go. Uh, so she's getting really close. And um, I'm really far, <laughs> I'm sixth. Uh, but as you can see, and, 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 and that was terrible too. So I try here to knock everyone out of the way and position myself in the center and come up short. So um, there she goes. So see, she's put herself right in the middle and uh, he's a little bit closer and oh man, so close. Uh, and Dr. Hare comes in here and wow. <laughs> so uh, my final go and I knock everyone out of the way, but yeah. I had no chance. <laughs> Not very good at shuffleboard. Now, this one right here is the water run. And I am very, very bad at this one as well. Uh, so I'll show you guys how to play it. You have to watch out for the boar. Um, and get up on top of this, jump across, go, go to the waterfall as quickly as you can. And as you notice, there's only two of us. And the boar is there, oh, got hit by him. He knocked out all my water and he got me again. Um, as soon as you hit the boar, he will empty your jug and you're pretty much in trouble. And so I'm trying my best. <laughs> I'm really bad at this one, as you guys can tell, and the computer is really good at it. So it's already 29 to zero and you're going to 100. And I spilled some water there when I jumped, um, but you go under the platform here and it will fill your bottle. So it's 29 to 29 now. Um, so I thought I might have a chance. And like I said, if you are the last one with one other person, um, well, <laughs> you have to win. And this was my first chance to win in <laughs> Reality TV Island. And I was so frustrated because uh, I knew 29 to 89 that I was going to lose. And because this one's so hard, I'm so bad at it. Um, you know, this one and the, the balancing plates one, um, I'm really terrible at, and I knew that uh, if I didn't win this, then it was going to kick me off the island, and I was going to have to start over against all seven people again. And there you go. So I get booted off of the island uh, automatically. You don't go through a voting process. Really sad, and I was upset. But here we go with the final win. So it's me against her, and it's actually a challenge I am good at which is the shot put. And so I put it right in the middle. There we go. And full power and boom, look at that. Think Noodles is strong. <laughs> so she gets automatically voted off. And congratulations, uh, welcome to Stardom. You're the winner of Reality TV Island. You can come back and just hop into the uh, Reality TV Island helicopter. And I'll jump off and talk to this guy here and he will give me a medallion. Now, the interesting thing about this medallion is you see this on the bottom, one-time winner. So if you go back on the TV show and win again, it'll say two-time winner or a three-time winner or a four-time winner. So uh, post in the comments below how many times you've won uh, the island medal for Reality TV Island. I hope you enjoyed my walkthrough and if it helped you out in any way, please take a second to like it and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more Pop Tropica cheats and walkthroughs. I'll see you guys again soon and thanks for watching.